Hey guys, what's up everyone? It's Jackie Felix here and today I want to make an updated guide uh, since my previous video which is made around about almost two years ago um, then there's since then there's been like a lot of changes uh, that's happened in BDO and my last video was made in November of 2020 uh, so that was quite a while back and you know there's been a lot of changes since then and what I want to do today is I just want to show you guys the three build variations I have and I have all these builds available to me in NA and I've tried these builds extensively in uh, Node War, Sieges, Open War, PvP and Groaning and Game Groaning as well. So I just want to give you my thoughts and opinions on these builds and the pros and cons and what each build, why I use each build for and hopefully, you know, this kind of information helps you and guides you towards your gear gear build path especially if you're playing caster right uh, however it is also applicable for other classes too now the first build i have and is my dr glass cannon build um so this is my preferred build at the um, at the moment i have around about 323 ap uh with two accuracy accessories and this is essentially my go-to build for large-scale pvp at the moment um i use this build for uncapped siege no wars open world and open world is if it's a large scale open world gbg not really for small scale stuff and personally i like this build because if you see later compared to my ap evasion build which is what i used to run mainly it has around about 80 to 100 more ap depending how you build it um compared to my evasion build and it's also i'm um, tanky enough to where i don't instantly get blown up Unless it's of course uh, e buff Dracania, uh, hard cap e buff Dracania, the, the, like the, the, that will like one shot essentially anything. Um, now the weakness of this build is that if you do get CC, it's very unlikely unlike that you will die at the end of the day because you don't have that evasion as the buffer to keep you alive. Um, and there's way too much damage in the game at the moment for DR to matter, especially on Wizard. Now that might not be true for classes like Valk or Warrior. And I'll just show you my build on NA. So this is a DR build I run. So I have two magic AP artifacts as well with the 6% uh, crit damage plus accuracy plus AP. And then I run the two HP cups, which I could essentially swap these to pretty uh three percent crit damage but i prefer the hp for cap siege uh lunar neck um penturos everything else is pretty standard right and uh next i'll just show you guys my evasion build so this is what i call my ap evasion build this is what i used to run uh for around about a year for almost everything um and right now for this build it's 310 AP, uh, 48 DP, um, and what I use this build for is my um, endgame PvE build, and also I'll use this for Cap Siege, and I'll explain why I do that. Um, so, Evasion is essentially very strong in endgame PvE since mobs outside of elite mobs, so you have your Flamens. From Gyphon and then your elite mobs from Hex and Trolls, those will always hit you very hard since they have very high accuracy. Um, mo but mobs outside of that will generally have very low hit rate on this build, so that makes this build pretty tanky. Um, you won't need much HP pots, you can just keep grinding without worrying about uh, the possibility of dying. Um, and I like to use this build for. And, and the reason I use this build is if you if you look here, the monster damage it has. So it has 135 extra AP against monsters, but then if you look at the um, ER build, that's only 78, so there's around about 50 difference there. Um, now to go over to Cap Siege, the reason why I use this build for Cap Siege is because the extra AP and human damage you get from the AP build won't really transition over to Medai and Kalfian Siege because AP and all that stuff's capped. But HP isn't, so if I have the hand homes from my uh, evasion build, that'll be a uh, decent amount of bonus HP for me to use in cap siege, right? Um now to summarize this build. 
it does still do high damage in uncapped PvP content. And the strength of this build is you hit very hard, and you're pretty much, for me, when I run blow on the setup, I'm pretty much unkillable in 1v1 scenarios unless I'm finding a buffed up very high AP, high accuracy class. So you will live most 1v1 combos on you. Uh, however, like these defensive stats you have from this build rarely save you in large scale scenario where if you get KD'd or bound and you have three or five people on you, you'll most likely still die, right? So that's why I still, I, I, I use the glass cam build for large scale PvP. It's because um, I use it because if I get CC and die anyways, why not take the extra damage? Because you what you are playing is essentially a ranged skirmisher support class, right? You're not a frontline class anyways, especially on Succession Wizard. And uh, this is, of course, my evasion build. You can see I got a Pen Blackstar offhand recently. Uh, my main hand is on my other wizard, so I'll just swap that over, that plus the Vels, and that will be my evasion build, essentially. Um, obviously, you know, this later, I'll have the Orphan Ramp out and the Looter next for this build as well. All right, now I'll swap on to my last build, which is my um, Evasion Hybrid build, right? And I'll just swap this real quick. This is a Fiery Black Star Dagger. So I'll just swap that and I'll swap this as well. So it's not confusing for anyone. Okay, there we go. Now I use this build essentially for small scale PvP and shot calling. Um, what this is essentially is I've swapped out the uh, Turo belt for the or Pen Orcaran belt and I swap out the um, Pen Lunar Neck for the Pen Sissels. And what this build does essentially is it makes you extremely tanky in small scale PvP. Now you'll still die in certain scenarios. However, uh, this is really good, for example, against grab classes. Um, this is really good in a fighting gearlets as well because you know you'll be able to do a lot of damage to them while well, you're almost unkillable um and this is good for shot calling as well i like to use this build when i shot call because um i still with this build i still kind of die of the ball and with this build i'm able to soak up a lot of frontline damage and i'm also able to sit on objectives while getting hit by multiple people and as long as I get CC'd I usually don't die. So that's why that's why I use this build. Um, so yeah that's pretty much the three builds I use and just the overall conclusion I have the glass cannon build which I use for uncapped node wars, siege and large scale open world PvP. Um, the concept behind this build is to go full out AP uh, sac to sacrifice on defensive stats while still keeping yourself um, tanky enough so that you don't get one shot by random skills and abilities so it still gives you time to react. And then I have the AP evasion build and this is what I use for PvE and um, also Cap Siege. And then I have my evasion hybrid build, which is what I use for small scale PvP 1v1s and shot calling, essentially. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something useful. If you did, please uh, chuck a like, uh, hit the subscribe button, appreciate it a lot. It helps my channel grow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, peace.